So they've uh, said net income 690 million Swiss francs for the second quarter. Wealth management 11 billion dollars came in in terms of net inflows, 10.1 billion uh, Swiss francs into the, the wealth management unit. Money coming into wealth management is always interesting. Um, and they also said that they're nearing a settlement with the U.S. Federal Housing Finance Agency. Um, this goes uh, relates to claims associated with mortgage-backed securities that the Federal Housing Finance Agency was suing them over, uh, suggesting that UBS, along with a number of other banks, had missold those, misrepresented them. Uh, to Before the financial crisis, wasn't it? So this goes exactly back to uh, mortgage-backed securities they had offer on offer between 2004 and 2007. That's correct. And um, I guess key in terms of the financial part of that is that uh, UBS is saying that the, 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 the cost of that settlement will be covered by previous provisions and provisions it's taken in the se second quarter. Though I didn't see anything on what the exact provisions that it's taking are, but we do have this uh, net income number of 600 million, uh, 690 million Swiss francs. So presumably that's after the provisions have been taken, of course, yeah, interesting, uh, to cover this. Interesting to look at the level of certainty we have around these provisions as well, because they're saying they've reached an agreement in principle yeah, with the Federal deal. Housing Finance Agency, subject to various things, documentation and final approvals by the parties, but they, they clearly feel confident enough about it to have made this announcement. It's not a done deal until the last lawyer gets paid, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's true. I'm sure that's true. Um, interesting to look at the, the strategy of UBS as opposed to Credit Suisse. We've talked a lot on this program about how uh, UBS is a business that's been uh, decreasing in size and trying to really focus in on the wealth management part of the business. Um, Credit Suisse, of course, Crosstown Rivals in Zurich yeah. has a very different strategy. And UBS saying that these numbers Numbers, uh, that they're announcing Validated today. Strategy. Yeah, preliminary results for the second Look, quarter. Look, Sergio Aramati, he's been at it for a long while. They made a very clear plan at the beginning about how they wanted to change UBS around, uh, scale back investment banking, focus on, on wealth management. In 10 billion uh, Swiss francs, 11 billion dollars coming in in net inflows. Presumably, that looks like that's in the second quarter. You know, that's a very healthy result of validating at least uh, the, the focus on wealth management in any case.